hi guys welcome welcome back to this channel today i'll be sharing with you how i paint my artwork um i'm not an artist i can't even draw a straight line to save my life but i knew that with little inspiration i could achieve what i wanted to achieve at the beginning of the year i said that i was going to learn how to paint and how to do um how to knit those were the two things that i was very very specific about so i really wanted to learn these two things so that was my plan so i got all the things that i needed a paintbrush canvas sheets colors acrylics and watercolors by the way you can get all these things from shop wgm i'll link i'll put a link below so check them out for the supplies so i got them and you know um i was just playing around but i want to tell you guys something you, all you really want to do is you need to check out your inspiration before you you want to paint something must inspire you right so look out for whatever is inspiring at the moment and then of course you can go to instagram check out pinterest like for me what i did was i went on pinterest look look looked out for modern contemporary painting and then i was seeing a lot of abstract like designs and that was what really inspired me now i'm not saying you should copy other people's artworks but just you know get inspiration from what people are doing what people have done and then you can start painting so you guys without further ado let's jump right into it um if you haven't subscribed to this channel please I don't know why you are still delaying. Please just do it. Right? Okay. So for the first project, we're going to be painting acrylic on canvas. So I got the canvas sheet from this book and I'm going to be using my um, paint brushes. There's a palette for the paints, my acrylic paints, tape, and yeah. So the first thing I'm doing is taping off um, the acrylic sheet i'm tipping off the edges to create a white um border and i'm making use of this um, tape this is not a painter's tape you should actually use a painter's tape but i didn't have that ready readily available so i had to make use of what i had at hand so you're just gonna tape off the edges just like i'm doing in the video and once i was through with that i started painting um i wasn't um color specific but um this i wanted something tan something brownish and this was the closest color to brown that i had so i just diluted it a little bit with white acrylic and i just used that mix to paint the um, portion of the the white portion the entire white portion so the reason why I taped off the edges is, is because I really I wanted um, some a defined rectangle with white borders so that's why I taped off the edges so I'm just going to keep doing that and you know paint everything completely just like you can see in the video So you just allow it to dry for a bit and then take off the tape. So now the tape is out. I have like a perfect rectangle with the border. So the, the rectangle is not actually perfect. You can see some imperfections there, but I still like it. It's art. So I'm just going to paint the edges with another color. I also mixed this green paint with white because I wanted a particular shade of green. I didn't want the typical green, so I mixed with, with um, white acrylic. So you can actually play around with your colors. Just you can mix up till you get a color that you want. Because of the type of um, painting, really, you can play with colors. I'm just, yeah, every, everything is abstract, shapes, lines 
and yes that was the inspiration i got on pinterest and that's what i'm using so i'm also painting the other edge too with blue so you know the pantone color of the year is classic blue so i've been a little bit i want to add a touch of blue to everything just to feel like yeah like i'm also you know working with the pantone color of the year that was actually interesting so i'm just painting again just like i painted green i'm also working with the shade of blue so for this blue i mixed two shades of blue together i didn't dilute it white this time and so i have blue at the edge green at the edge and now i'm just outlining i just wanted to put some lines um i don't know just something just to make the painting a little bit more eclectic and now i'm signing off my name because i'm i'm an artist really and that's it guys i really enjoyed painting this piece and i really love how it sits on the wall so to the next one this is going to be watercolor on canvas so i also got a what a a watercolor pad and i have the watercolor and i'm just going to be painting different lines just like you can see in the video to be honest i didn't have any inspiration for this i was just playing with my watercolor but i still like how it turned out i just wanted to paint i think i was a bit inspired by you know desert i i that was something that was like okay yeah different you know the different sands different you know parts of the desert um so i just kept on painting drawing vertical strokes sorry horizontal strokes actually and yes so that's all i was doing i was just playing having fun i i really like i really loved the outcome and so just watch and see how i was just you know painting the different strokes with my watercolor i think painting is really 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 therapeutic if you're looking to um do something that will relax you relax your body relax your mind then you should totally take up painting it mustn't be anything serious it's just you, you could just do it for fun just like i'm doing here i didn't really have any inspiration i just thought about desert and i just started drawing you know horizontal lines and that's it that that is the ads really so i added this blue i added um shades of blue and um green just you know to make to make it more interesting but like i said before there was really no inspiration but i love the outcome i love how it's coming <laughs> And you guys, this is like a, this is actually like the first time ever I'm using a watercolor. So let's just say I'm re reliving my, you know, childhood. I've never done this before, so it was so much fun. Like, if you need anything to relax you, then this is DIY for you. Like, just sit get all your painting accessories and just start painting it will help you relieve stress so i'm actually now adding this black highlight i don't know i was just adding it to create some sort of depth or definition <laughs> but yeah like i had so much fun with this painting i'm still going to try more i uh, will share the tutorial with you guys too if it's something you 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 know you would like so please let me know in the comment section if you want 
more painting tutorials if you want us to you know do more interesting stuff it's something i'm open to so please let me know if it's something you guys like and of course i'm signing off my email because this is my masterpiece so now that it's all done i am going to frame my work and you know my frames and everything i use for this tutorial was gotten from shop wgm i'll link them i hope you enjoyed this tutorial till next time bye bye